appreciate I'm just, you know, the reason we're here. That's yeah, right. That's why I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, I appreciate you. Yeah, exactly. I, I understand that. Seriously. That was the Pharisees that were so hypocritical that, uh, you know, they they was always judging people. But they themselves, Jesus said, devoured widows' houses. They themselves, you know, uh, had a beam in their eye, okay? So I understand that. What, but do, you think, what do you think it would take to bring real peace and unity back to the world? What would it take to bring real peace and unity back to the world? Jeremy, that is only going to happen when the Lord Jesus Christ returns and put things in order. Every nation on this earth is in disarray just like Babel was. Nimrod's kingdom, okay? These, these nations uh, are dealing with confusion due to mixture. That's what Babel was all about. And so I'm trying to tell you, when Jesus said he didn't come to bring peace but a sword... That is because God is really frustrated with how things are all messed up due to the constant mixture, Jeremy. So I'm, what I'm telling you is that it's not to be evil towards anybody. It's just to have order that the Lord gave us divisions, okay? You know, I mean, that's the same way. Uh, would you want your, your little kids, as they're just growing up learning, would you want them to be going to co-ed restrooms or... Uh, you know, all kinds of transgender restrooms. If you're if you're off the scriptures, now I don't know if you. Don't, I mean, that's if you even think that's a home of homosexual is an abomination. The scriptures do. See, you see, what I'm saying, do you? I'm, I'm just saying. So I'm just assuming if you said you teach the Bible, what the Bible really say? That's for us, correct. You know what I'm saying? The Bible say that the two men lie with each other. That is an abomination, and that they got cut off. They got killed for that. And uh, he said you can do it with men, you can do it with animals, you know, so morality, all right? Again, I wouldn't want my kids doing that. I was walking down the street, some guy had his pubic hairs all out, and he didn't want to pull his pants up for nothing, man. I had to stand there uh, about a minute or two and make him do it. It's a sad shame, man, okay? that There's no such thing as division no more. That kind of, can you stay naked in your house? Do the kids got to see it too, right? Come on, brother. That's that's what Jesus is talking about, all right? But anyway, thank you for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Good chopping it up with you, man. Yeah, so you see that it's about division now. It ain't about all that that uh, cookies and cupcakes and ice cream, Jeremy. All right. Jesus came with a sword, man. He said he come to set fire on the earth, and what be, what what's gonna happen if it's already kindled? And he got to you know he got to be baptized with that baptized, all right? And so he died, rose again. Next time he come back, brother Jeremy. Boy, hey, it's going to be like King Kong, man. So all this stuff going to be falling with nothing, with no sort of effort at all. The Lord will burn all this stuff up with the breath of his mouth. So keep his commandments and don't be burned up. Right now, I think you should retire from that. Read the scriptures. Learn about. <laughs> that's right. Retire from doing this. Read the scriptures, brother. And become born again when you believe the scriptures. All right? You got to go into the Greek, go into the Hebrew like y'all say y'all do. All right, and you're going to see, read it in context. It's us, man. Do your, re do your research. Thank you for your question. Do your re yeah, all right. And quit being a false prophet, man. All right. <laughs>